guys and welcome to this video on AVL trees. So here we want to make an AVL tree by inserting the following values and the values are in blue. The values are 43, 69, 35, 71, and 70. And what we're going to see is that we're going to need to do what's called a right left rotation to balance our tree. So let's go ahead and get started. First let's insert the value 43 into our tree. So I'm going to put 43 and there we go. So now we need to check our balance factor to see if this tree is balanced. And that's um, using an equation, which would be the height of the left subtree minus the height of the right subtree. Or we could do the height of the right subtree minus the height of the left subtree. And here L stands for left and R stands for right. Okay. So as long as whatever that value is, as long as it belongs to the set, um, and I might actually I didn't write that correctly. So as long as it belongs to the set negative one, zero, or one, then our tree is balanced. So let me erase this here. I'm just going to use the left minus right. So the height of the left is zero and the height of the right is zero. So the height of our tree right now is zero. So our tree is balanced. Okay. So now let's insert the value 69 into our tree. Okay. So 69 is greater than 43. So it's going to go to the right of our tree. And then we insert the value 69. So now we have to check to see if our tree is balanced. So first we start with our node up here. Um, the height of the left subtree is still zero, but the height of the right subtree is one. So um, this tells us that we have a balance factor of one here. And now we have to check this balance factor, which is just zero because there's nothing on the left and nothing on the right. Okay, so our tree is still balanced because one and zero is within that set. Okay, so next let's insert the value 35. And 35 is less than 43, so it's going to go to the left of our tree. And then we insert the value 35. Now we need to check our balance factor. So the height of the left subtree. Um, minus the height of the right subtree is zero. So right now this is uh, zero. And then of course there is no left subtree and there is no right subtree. So the balance factor here is zero and zero. So our tree is balanced. Next up we want to insert the value 71. So 71 is greater than 43. So we go to the right of 43. And 71 is greater than 69. So we go to the right of 69. And then we insert the value um, 70, I said 73, I meant 71, if I did say 73. So we're going to insert the value 71 because 71 is greater than 43 and 71 is greater than 69. So that's why we're going to the right of it. Okay, so now let's check our balance factors. So this height remains the same, still zero. I'm sorry, the balance factor is still zero. And 43 has a uh, left side is one and the right side is two. So you do one minus two, we get negative one. And then here we have the left side is zero and the right side is 71. So we get zero minus one. So we get negative one again. But this time for our uh, note 69. And of course, there uh, is no left subtree and there's no right subtree for 71. So it just gets a value of zero, a balance factor of zero. So our tree is still balanced. All right. Next up, let's enter the value 70 into our tree. So 70 is greater than 43. So we go to the right of 43. 70 is greater than 69. So we go to the right of 69. And 70 is um, less than 71. So we go to the left of 71 and we insert the value 70. 
Okay, now let's check our balance factor. For this here, the height of our left is um, one, and the height of our right side is one, two, three. So we get one minus three, which is negative two. Here is zero. Here we get the height is um, zero on the left, and then one, two on the right. So we get zero minus two, which is minus two. And then we get, of course, um, one minus zero here, so we just get one. I'm just gonna erase this up here. Okay, so we can see that our tree now is unbalanced um, because of these two balance factors here. All right, so to balance our tree, we must use what's called a right-left rotation or RL rotation. And how we're gonna do that is we're going to imagine we're going to imagine that um, 69 is the value 5 here, 71 is the value 7 here, and 70 is the value 6 here. And then we're basically just going to use this um, to, to uh, rotate our tree. All right, so again, we have 43, we have 35, and we had this right here for our, for the rest of our tree. So now we're gonna rotate it to look like this. So remember our five here was 69. So this is still gonna be 69. Our six was here, which was our 70. So it's gonna be our 70. And our seven, which was here, was our 71. So this becomes 71. Of course, um, this tree is still unbalanced. Okay, so we're gonna do one more rotation here. And our six, um, which was here, goes up to, uh, uh, six goes up to here. And let me just show you that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first put our 43 then we're gonna put our 35. Now, again, six was 70, so, so this becomes 70 here. And our five was um, 69. So 69 is gonna go here. And our seven was 71, so our 71 is gonna go here. And now let's check our balance factor. Uh, the left hand side is one, the right hand side is one, two. So you get one minus two, which equals negative one. So it's a negative one balance factor. Here the balance factor is zero, here the balance factor is zero, and here it's zero, and here it's zero. So our tree is balanced. And that's it. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on the AVL tree. Um, please leave any questions you have, comments, uh, likes. Let me know if I made a mistake here. And thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.